My name is Sardo Paquin. I'm a gastroenterologist from Canada, and I mainly perform endoscopic ultrasound. An easy way of saying it is that, to me, endoscopy is like playing video games. Mm -hmm. But maybe that's, uh, on, a, on a more personal basis, I think that it's something that you are able to do a, a technique on a patient to be able to um, help him without having to require surgery. And I think with the advances now that we see in general endoscopy and also endoscopic ultrasound, we are doing more and more techniques that uh, have a better diagnostic outcomes, better therapeutic outcomes, and that globally uh, improve patient health. I work in a tertiary care center in Montreal. And I'm fortunate to be working in a center that is a, a very big uh, referral center for endoscopic ultrasound. So our center performs about 2,500 endoscopic ultrasounds uh, per year, which puts us in the, I would say, probably the top three uh, centers in the world that has uh, this kind of volume. And so I'm very, very fortunate because uh, about more than 50% of my clinical duties is just to perform endoscopic ultrasound, which provides me with a tremendous opportunity to uh, uh, get uh, a lot of experience in that field. Uh, I think my, the achievement I can, I can bring is uh, I think I, I help promote mm -hmm. endoscopic ultrasound uh, on a world level in terms of uh, showing that this is a technology and a technique that can, uh, if, if you're well trained for, can uh, really p improve patient outcome. I also participate in a, a course that uh, provides uh, hands-on experience for uh, physicians worldwide to try to uh, uh, improve their endoscopic ultrasound skills. Well, I mean, I've known Carlos for, I would say, almost 20 years now. We met when he was a medical student and I was a, a resident in gastroenterology. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I was here three years ago, and what I see, the changes that happen over three years are really tremendous. There's three times more people in the meeting. Now there's 600 uh, people. Uh, the quality of the institution where he works with the equipment that he has and the networking that he's developed, not just in Latin America, but all, uh, all across the world, is tremendous. I mean, I think it's tremendous that all the invited international professors know uh, Carlos in one way or another, and that just proves that he has this outreach that is uh, quite, uh, quite exceptional. So I would uh, like to say hi to Yesed and everyone working with that organization. I really appreciate my time here and I look forward to uh, working with you again.